And 22 days to Election Day, and veterans of the court system are encouraging voters to make sure the death penalty stays out in Nebraska. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Joe Kadat is live in the studio with the story. And Joe, tell us more. Dan, it's often the argument of Nebraskans for the death penalty that capital punishment is supported by a variety of law enforcement. Today, that wasn't the case. Judges, police officers, and a former police captain spoke against having a death penalty in Nebraska. That decision will be on the ballot on November 8th. Several former law enforcement officers say they had originally supported the death penalty, but changed their minds through experience with the criminal justice system. A Creighton law professor spoke out on how he helped prosecute serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. He says the famed killer thought there was capital punishment in Wisconsin while he was killing people, when in reality, Wisconsin didn't have a death penalty. The professor, Greg O'Meara, says he knows firsthand the threat of capital punishment does not deter crime. Nobody, first and foremost, thinks they're going to get caught when they commit a crime. That isn't what's going on in their mind, so they don't think of the penalty at all. It doesn't really deter them. That's the psychology of how crime happens. It's impetuous. It happens quickly. The group Nebraskans for the death penalty say they have research that shows that the death penalty not only deters crime, but also saves lives in states that have capital punishment. Nebraskans for the death penalty point to the State Sheriff's Association and the Nebraska County Attorney's Association, who both have endorsed the effort to overturn last year's decision to get rid of the death penalty from Nebraska. Reporting live, Joe Kadat, KMTV Action 3 News. Joe, thanks so much.